Jason, and I am at Steiner Ranch Steakhouse. And there is a beautiful sunset happening. You know I love beautiful sunsets. enough for the sunset. Alright, I'll do the 18 ounce Texas rib ribeye smoked. Yeah. With a baked potato and mushrooms. And uh, that's it. Thank you. 60 what was that $68 steak? It's been a long time since I had a $68 steak. Let's see how it compares to Longhorn's $22 or $4 steak. Alright, pick you up with the food gets here. There we go. Seared tuna. Mostly raw. Wow. Isn't that fabulous? That's awesome. Oh, they made that taste so good. <laughs> yeah. What do you say? How do they make that taste so good? That's awesome. All right, we'll try one more. The trick is getting that food fresh. You got to see this up close. You didn't even know you needed to try this. <laughs> Let's bring it out. My camera's bring it out. There we go. Mm. Wow. I have to set up my other camera. Alright. Can't pass that up. <laughs> Alright, got a nice little wide view. Let's see everybody. Let's see this stuffed crab. That's good. It's good. That was very good. I thought you said it was all important. Do you want one? Espresso? Yeah. Yeah, there's espresso drinks. Yeah. Delicious. So that was just appetizer. Yeah, you like them? Yes. Thank you. A lot, a lot of different things. <laughs> you just sell them? I use like my 
phone and stuff too before. Cute. Yeah, <laughs> and this stuff's just so portable. Like I had a big camera, and you get good quality out of it, but I didn't want to take it anywhere. Yeah. And like I, I would, I wouldn't want to take it out here. It would be so, you know, distracting, right. and people just look. But a reporter. Right. Yeah. People get more camera shy when they see a bigger camera, like. Some people don't even know that this is a camera. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like a self Right. Yeah, I like these. Let's get a little shot of the band. Get some live entertainment. Everything is looking great. I'll try this mushroom gravy. <laughs> I had already cut into my steak just to see if it was done or not. There we go. I got it smoked. You can take, taste the smoky goodness. Don't make more, everybody. Here, try this one. Smoked. You can try this one. This one's smoked? Yeah. I got your friend before. She'll Oh my goodness. 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 Oh my I'm gonna try Jake's non smokers. Totally different. Yeah, the smoker. Wow, that's wild. That's good too. They've been cooking all day. Yeah. Got it, hold us up right. Wanna try it? Smoke? The smoke meats are so good. This is smoky. Very good. That's worth the extra two bucks. <laughs> Potato. Get some sour cream and, and some bacon. 
Bacon bits are really crispy. It's a lot more tender. It's like butter it melts in your mouth. It is. <laughs> Very good. Try my uh, mushrooms. White sauce. White sauce. I don't know. It's like a great gravy. Wine sauce. would have been a big enough one for me. Eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> 
taking the gun, just taking it around all downtown and stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, just a fighter kid with like the smallest bike. Yeah. No, well, half match tail. Like, what's just going on? Oh, yeah. I literally just went like, <laughs> like, 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 I'm getting so full. I am getting full, but I don't want to stop. Yeah, the, the bacon's like crunchy. It's medium rare. You know how I used to order my steaks well done until I got the bacon, and then yeah. I slowly, I would be well, then I would medium. Now yeah, my mom would get well, well done sirloins and be like, I don't even like steak. I'm like, yeah, you're eating the uh, burnt shoe leather. <laughs> that's, that's my dad. He'll get, he'll, he'll get a medium now. But normally he was medium well. Yeah. And, and it always comes out, out well done. See, that's what made me, because I, I would get medium well, but it always came out well done, so I started going medium. But then I would get, like, really, really rare. But yeah, over time, I mean, it does taste so much better. And then she tried my medium cooked. Uh, ribeye, and she's like, oh my gosh, that is good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I do like steak. <laughs> when it's not cooked like a shoe. Right. <laughs> 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 I used to eat medium rare, then I went to well done, but now I'm medium, but it's still pretty big. Yeah, mine was definitely rare. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. the power up. If you have a good steak though, that's honestly the way to do it. It's just like the tuna, they only sear it on the outside. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Mm -mm. He gave me, he gave me like a wine taste test one time. I, I may have not been recording. And I was like, I can't eat ribeyes. Now it's not my still here. I might have just blew it. Mommy, I didn't look at it because it was red like this. And it felt like literally melted in my mouth. When I looked at it, it was smoked ribeye. It's magical. Because I don't like the chili. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's just. But honestly, this is pretty worth it for the price. I feel like. My steak was like $8. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was like $68. <laughs> it is a lot of food. Which one did you get? 18 ounce smoked. Texas ribeye. Oh, okay. Well, I got the regular ribeye. Yeah. Uh, I got 14 though. Yeah. Uh, I almost got the 20 because I was going to share with her. Yeah. And then I was like, I was looking at it and it was like $12 more. But the steak tips were only like $8 or something. Right. Like that. So I was like, I'm just going to stick with it. I barely ate any of it. I'm glad. I should have got the 14 ounce. Dude, I could, I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time catching the 14 ounce. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna give you my love tower. We can put it in eggs. Very delicious. We've been here a while too, huh? Time we get here, five. It's, so, it's seven forty-four. It's a long time. She did. She did call. Y'all still have the cooler in the car? Yeah. Oh, okay. So are you riding with them to the bar place? Are they taking Uber? Are you taking Uber or are you drive? Yeah, I'll just ride with you to where we're going. Is it? Yeah, it's like a 40 minute trip. It's a 45 minute drive. I think that's about what mine was. I would think it would be close to Mine the was pretty far. I got a, a guy that was a, a K Korean man. He was probably in his 60s. He's like, you like Metallica? And then we, we were blasting Metallica all the way here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Rocking it out. I'm like, yeah, I like Metallica. I got into a... He did. He did. He, 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 I had a notification. He was hard of hearing. So he had it blaring. I'm like, yeah, it's good. You had a notification? <laughs> yeah, it was on... They let you know that they're hard of hearing. How? The new phone or? The no, just in, on Lyft. 
think he told me earlier, he said you're old. He told me, he's like, you didn't have the right update. Yeah. So, but I have to have my book, my phone with you. Yeah, if you update the iOS 18, then you could do like, it's kind of like an enhanced text messaging with Android phones. So it's called RCS, rich, rich something. Wow. So you could do like reactions instead of, it's not just SMS, which is all it is now. So you could do like thumbs up on it and you know, like it's more like yeah. iMessage. Okay. I was wondering why I was seeing that on some of my <laughs> people that have Android, they were able to like it. Yeah. No. They actually have way more options. Something's wrong with my phone. I don't know what my last software is, but it doesn't show like beta updates. Should I have that on? That's no. That's new. You just want that. So you know how you normally get the number of texts you've got there, right? Yeah. Normally, I don't lately, but for several weeks, I haven't gotten any number or anything. So you don't know if you get it, you've gotten any text or not. Now it says two. I haven't seen a number in forever. But when I click on here, there's what there's four. So what? it says two. You need to update the iOS 18 too. <laughs> Jason's like, come on, y'all. I like everybody, the features. Everybody, <laughs> everybody update. See, he can't use all of the features unless you have all the features. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, when, when you go to your updates, just do this one down at the bottom. Up, update to iOS 18. Okay, well, should they do that automatically at night with my Wi-Fi? No. What? They won't do this one. Maybe, like, a couple months from now it will, but, like, when, 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 when updates... You know, when updates first come out, you have to manually update them. You're kidding. No. Not everybody wants it says the automatic update. update. It, it's oh. just a way that they can stagger updates. So, like, oh. only people that know about it. So, everyone's not doing it all at once. Oh, okay. So, don't do it now, right? Well, I don't think it'll let you do it right now. Oh, I think you have to have your phone plugged in. So, like, mine's downloading, but I'll have to have it plugged in for the actual Is this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everyone update. Everyone update. What Android did you get? Is Pixel this a new 9. Is it new? Yeah. It just came out like last month. What's better about it than you liked? Is that a Google? Um, well, they're good with photos, but when I'm going to Bangkok, I wanted to have a physical SIM slot where all the iPhones now just have eSIM. So you can, there's more options for like travel SIMs when you get there. You can buy like a SIM card in a 7 Eleven for six bucks to, the, for, to give you internet and oh, cell you service. Oh, SIM cards while you're there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Okay. That's smart. How did you find that out? Oh, that's that's a thing. <laughs> last, last, last time I went to France in 2007, I had to do the same thing. Wow, so that's not that anyone knows. I mean, you can look through the biggest that industry yeah. where you go there. Really? Do your research. Yeah. I wouldn't know that. So if we went on vacation, we wouldn't be able to use the internet. Well, in Canada and Mexico, like I have a cell plane service that does like, I could use my phone in Canada and Mexico. It all depends on your phone plan. And, and some like Google Fi has a thing where you could use the phone anywhere, like all over the world, but you're paying more per month for that. And, and now AT&T, I think they do like, it's like $10 a day or something. It's pretty expensive. For roaming, international roaming, oh, yeah. like most of the big carriers are pretty expensive so for that. You get their SIM and you're not yeah, it's like six dollars unlimited for a month. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we used to have that man um, in the Marine Corps. So that's why, if you notice, like most Marines had Sprint or yeah. T-Mobile. Yeah, T-Mobile does have an interna international plan. Yeah. And so active duty, it's like not that much more. Exactly. So yeah. like we were there, and it was through Sprint. And on the military plan, well, all the Marine Corps bases only had Sprint. So, mm. like, if you don't have Sprint, your phone did not work on base. Oh, wow. Yeah. So oh, they, they would have their own, like, relay tower type thing? Yeah. And since it's, oh, whoever had the contract with the government was the only one allowed to put their towers there, and these bases are so big. Like, you go to the center of the base, there's 
hardly sell more coverage is whatever provider that have that. And that changes T-Mobile, but that's why you'll meet a lot of brands that all have T-Mobile or Sprint. We've had it our whole lives. And everybody else has it. You know, but I had it before that anyway, because my dad, UPS, has a Sprint. Had a Sprint. We used to have Sprint, and then we changed to, oh my gosh, thank you. I want to change to Verizon, and now we're at Just get the tower. And just get the tower, uh -huh. right? $179. Yeah, probably two people at least, but somebody. Oh, oh that, that, yeah, that would be cheaper. I think than it would people. be for the whole table, the way he was describing it. It's almost $200. Yeah, 180 He said it's a ton of food, so I would yeah. think at least two people just plan it, not three. Eat another bite. Oh, Eat another bite. Oh. Not me. <laughs> I'm going to be no. telling you that later. Just one more shot. <laughs> we do have a couple in our car. Our house, what? our house is a wreck. I'll just forewarn you. I've been on strike the last few days. Oh, yeah? yeah. Whatever you want to take with you, we'll take home to the fridge and then give it to y'all when you come by to get home. It's almost gone. <laughs> just had to wait for it to settle a little bit, right? Yeah. Oh, I can get <laughs> Very good. That's good protein. Yep. Those are seasoned so good, you don't have to add anything. All right, that was good. <laughs> Finished the 18 ounce with the help of you guys. <laughs> Did you see those robots that, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Did you see it? Well, just 20 or 30,000, and like, right. talking about how I could like babysit or I could like right. show it like back in the Maybe 20 years stuff. from now. Yeah. He, he has very optimistic timelines. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was like, I don't know when. And he told me the Cybertruck was going to be $39,000 when it came out. It's like, it was like 139 when it came out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I wouldn't take his uh, pricing. No, he, he, he said, <laughs> he did say down the road. Right. Yeah. Way down the road. Yeah. My great, great grandchildren will have $20,000 robots. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're cool. They're like the Android robots, the Tesla robots. They were serving uh, cocktails and stuff to them there. Mm -hmm. Terminate that. I mean, that's the plan for them. They, they can't do that now. Wouldn't the government have to be involved in turning it? Like, hack them, overtake them. Yeah, he's a. Uh, wait till. They'll, they'll wait till they'll, yeah, they'll wait till there's 600 million of those robots, and then China will hack them and turn them against us. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and he's all for AI. Well, we might he not really live all the way from any chosen person. He's all for AI. He doesn't realize the part that. He doesn't realize what, how he's contributing to all the stuff in the future. All right, well, that is so, going to wrap it up. There's so much more.
restrooms. Uh, go to that hall and turn right. Cool. That's it. Very cool place. My dad's just trying to figure out what to do with his time now. Alright. Probably waiting for me outside. Very beautiful. Hey. hey! She's giving us the tour. Oh, yeah? Yes, she's describing what the, everything what is. What's this? Wagon wheel? Wagon wheel? Wagon wheel? <laughs> <laughs> very nice, very nice. Wagon wheel, steering wheel. They're just right Is that here. them? Okay. Well, that was lovely. We got super close. It's, my it's good house. seeing you guys. It's good seeing you. It's very pretty. Well, we can't see it, baby. You sound like you're at the airport. Here is the outdoor appeal of the Steiner Ranch. Very nice, very nice. Singing? Are you an opera singer? <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna go uh, partake in some after dinner festivities. Talk to you later. Take it easy.